and I'm super excited to be in the store. So it's Thursday in the store. I'm not like, you know, you're not seeing me from Cleveland or <laughs> Atlanta or wherever. So super, super fun. Um, we have a few questions that we're going to answer, but if you have a question, obviously, the very best thing is for you to just jump in. So, um, first question is, what is the best way to sort of repel moths? Oh, hey, Kristen. Um, what is the best way to repel moths? Moths, it's funny, I'm actually going to talk about this on, hey, Jenny, um, I'm going to talk about this on Care 11 Saturday, if you're local, but I'll go ahead and tell you now. Moths don't actually want to eat your sweater. What they really want to eat is they want to eat the dirt and the debris that's on your sweater or whatever. So one of the best ways to repel moths in the off season, hey Paula, is to wash everything before you put it away. Make sure there's nothing on it. Hello. So that's the best way to do it. Now, also know that moths hate um, lavender and they hate cedar so if you don't like cedar you can use lavender and on saturday on care 11 i'm going to demo and we'll post it on the youtube channel hopefully um mix vodka with some lavender oil and make a lavender spray and use that to clean your closet because moms like to live in dust so if you change your closet over um what you want to do is you want to like clean it and get rid of any dust so that's the trick for moms um, when I use oxygen bleach to get hair dyed on bathroom countertop, you totally can. Mix it up in a paste. Um, if your countertop is like granite or something, um, use... Uh, you might use dish soap, to be honest. Normally, you know, I'm not... A, but this is not clothing. And oxygen bleach, put it on, let it sit. About 10 minutes later, wipe it away. And that should do it. What exactly is borax used for? Borax... I use borax to clean the washing machine. That's the only thing I use it for. I do a gallon of vinegar and a pound of borax and I clean the washing machine with it. Some people use borax as a booster to clean. I think a better booster is uh, baking soda or washing soda. So, hey John, hi Nikki. Um, Barbecue sauce all the time. Um, would, the, would it be different as poly, cotton polyester? No, here's what you wanna do. Spray it with vinegar and water, dab it, scrub it with soap and a brush. Spray with vinegar and water, dab, scrub with soap and a brush. You may have to repeat it, but the barbecue sauce will come right out. Well, Steph, I'm so glad you got to catch the live. Super fun. Well, Adrian, I'm happy to do it. Okay, my next tip is somebody asked me about waterproofing. So waterproofing, um, there are, it's a pair of like sort of poly like moon boots on this. She sent a picture. I just can't post it. But the same trick applies to waterproofing anything, like waterproofing a jacket or a shoe. There are a number of waterproofing sprays. Um, to be honest, I found them all to be pretty effective. The only thing I would not recommend on a moon boot or on a shoe is like oil. I would do the spray or I would do the rub on, and I think you'd be fine. The spray is my favorite because you can spray, let it dry, spray, let it dry, spray, and you really get a great result. So there's that. Thank you for coming in. You're Bye. Um, so that's how I would deal with waterproofing. The other question that has come up, you know, the other one that we're going to answer or that we were asked is, um, oh gosh. It, do you ever just have those moments when you just flake? Oh, you soap flake. Oh, that's funny. Okay. Um, sorry. Uh, the other question was, what what do I do when something boils over on my stove and it bakes in? So here's how you deal with that. Spray with vinegar and water, sprinkle it with baking soda, and scrub it with a lemon. It'll come right off. And then just wipe it clean. Uh, what will we're washing up a massive throw that was woven by a friend. It was a gift. I didn't even need to use it. Yarn fluff. Oh, gee, John. Yes, it will help. I'm thinking about how to wash it. Um, 
here's going to be your issue. Your issue is when it's woven that, or when it's knitted that loose, you have to be careful with that wrap. I would hand wash it, or I would put it really tight in a mesh bag and wash it. But that extra fluff should come off. But those, the, just know that those yarns always want to shed. It might be something um, to just store across the chair you don't use. I use ammonia for something else. Can I make my own sudsy ammonia? I'm working on it. The answer is yes. I have not got the recipe down, Gail. I'm working on it. But it's going to involve dissolving soap flakes in water and making soap syrup and whipping that into sudsy, into ammonia to make sudsy ammonia. So I'm working on it, but you can try it if you want. It'll work. Would you put it in the dryer? I absolutely would not. What you might do is you might put it in a loose mesh bag and throw it in the dryer for five minutes to just knock the fluff out. You could do that, but I generally won't put anything like that in the dryer because it can like literally unravel. Um, okay. So what other questions do we have? I will tell you, just because I'm thinking about it, um, if you shop on our website, which, you know, some of you do, um, we have just changed it so that shipping, any orders over $125 ship free. So that's a fun thing to kind of know. We just, you don't have to do anything. It just automatically does it itself. I haven't even used it yet, but I'm told that it works. Um, but that's kind of fun. The other thing that um, I'm going to be on Care 11 on Saturday, if you're local, um, I've got some fun kind of housey tips because I'm going to be at Junk Bonanza in a couple of weeks. And um, we're talking about that. Um, other things I want, I'm trying to think of other things I want you to know. Um, been wild, been wildly busy. I have something really fun coming. I was working on it all day yesterday. Um, I'm very excited. We'll be doing that pretty soon. Guacamole on dry clean only polyester blouse. Oh my gosh, I would put, um, I would put a little bit of oily soap on that and scrub it and either toss it in the washer or hand wash it. I wouldn't be afraid of a polyester blouse. Um, how do you do the guacamole? Oh, guacamole sounds delicious. Now I want nachos. Um, how do you use ironing water? What you do is you add a little bit of ironing water to the water you put in your ironer in your steamer. It's not a, you don't pour, the, you don't fill the iron with the ironing water. You add it, a few drops of it to the water to add the fragrance. Um, what is oily soap? Oily soap is, um... Like I use the stain solution from the Laundress or Archipelago Spa Remover. It's thick, it's the texture of dish soap. You just don't ever wanna use dish soap because dish soap will wreck your fabric. Like this is stain solution. Let's see if I can get it close enough so you can see it. When you pour it, it's a little thick. It's like thicker than other soap. Um, distilled water and an iron, I'm gonna tell you, I still do it. The irons say you don't have to. Mineral water is actually better than um, distilled water but I I still do it I think it's better for the iron how to get hand wax out of a rug I'm thinking it's going to be oily soap you're going to get as much as you can oily soap oily soap oily soap and then vinegar to lift it up um, I have not tried the laundry scent recipe I want to I have not because I will tell you, since I got back from Cleveland, I have had a wild week. So I'm just catching up. Um, yeah, I'm thrilled that Stain Solution is back. Um, that was a sort of a tough loss for a little while. And the one thing you'll notice is there's very few retailers. The laundress didn't pick it, go back to that many places. Um, they just couldn't produce that much. Um, but, yeah, it's funny. I have the, I have the ingredients, Nikki. I just haven't done it. Um, yeah, anything else? No? You know, some days there's not as long, and that's okay. Um, is there going to be anything else that's going on here? It's going to be in St. Louis, not Easter weekend, but the following weekend. So if you're in St. Charles, Missouri, you can swing by. Um, okay, so Seth, you're right, they do, and that is absolutely correct. And I still do it. 
they, the reason I sometimes use mineral water, so distilled water has zero minerals in it, right? It's completely clean. So what happens is, if there are some minerals in the water, the water actually gets hotter because the minerals help the water heat up. So the reason to use not distilled is the minerals actually help boost the heat of the iron. And Laura Starr took that into consideration with their iron. So it's the reason I sometimes use mineral water to add some minerals, but our water is so hard, I'm just afraid of putting our water, I mean, our water ruined my ice maker and my refrigerator. I had to replace it and it was the hard water. So I'm just weird about it. But you are correct. Laura Starr says not to use distilled. So that's why I'd use, I probably use distilled and then every third bottle, I probably use a bottle of mineral water. So there's some in there. Um, oh, John, hanging the sheets outside is amazing. Um, the oily soap, I answered step, but it's just thick, it's viscous. The texture is like the texture of dish soap. Just don't ever use dish soap on your clothes. Um, so, Laura Star says you should use tap water. It's just our tap water is so hard. It just freaks me out. So, you know. So, you know. I mean, yes. But they do say tap water. So does Rowenta. Ours is just so, so hard. So that's why I kind of do the mineral thing. Yeah. All right. Well, if we have any other cues, otherwise, we're on for next week. I will hopefully see you next week if I don't get stuck on a plane. <laughs> but I will. Um, to those of you celebrating Easter, happy Easter. Remember that carrots are the best. Um, how can I check the hardness of your water? There's something you can do. You can buy a little kit and do it. I don't have one, but I know you can construction dust Oy, okay so use a vacuum that doesn't um that really filters it as a half a filter and wipe it as much as you can with water just get a bucket of water and a towel and keep wiping it off until it just keeps rinsing and then vacuum yeah seth so you understand exactly what i'm talking about with that really hard water but yeah um so that's the reason i use mineral and water stuff Happy Easter, Jeannie. Happy Easter, everybody. Care to the best touch. I'll see you next week. Bye.